On Easter Sunday, President Trump announced he would no longer be pursuing a deal with the Republican establishment and Democrats to give amnesty to at least one. Eight million illegal aliens in exchange for a few pro-American immigration reforms. In a series of tweets, Trump signaled a return to his America First immigration agenda, mentioning that he will no longer try to negotiate a deal between the GOP establishment and Democrats on the issue of giving amnesty to potentially millions of illegal aliens shielded from deportation by the President Obama created Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals DACA, program. No more DACA deal, Trump wrote on Twitter while also saying that Republicans must go to nuclear option to pass tough legislation that ends the catch-and-release program which releases border crossers into the U. S. While they await trial, the catch-and-release program was recently expanded with Trump's signing of the omnibus spending bill with more illegal aliens set to be released this year into the interior of the country than the year before. The caravans Trump mentions to in the Twitter post refers to the approximately 1,500 Central Americans who are traveling through Mexico and will soon reach the U.S. border where they will likely request refugee status in the country, as Breitbart, Texas reported. In another tweet, Trump threatened to take the U.S. out of the North American Free Trade Agreement, NAFTA, where between 2000 and 2014, there have been about 5 million American manufacturing jobs lost if Mexico did not crack down on stopping migrants traveling through the country to take advantage of generous asylum and refugee laws in the U. As Trump reiterated in the tweet, need wall, after the Republican and Democrat passed spending bill he signed barred him from building his border wall, a third tweet by the president noted how border crossers want in on a DACA amnesty that they believe will occur as the Trump administration has tried to broker an amnesty deal for months now between Republicans and Democrats. For months, Breitbart News has reported how talk of a DACA amnesty in Washington, D.C., has coincided with an increasing number of border crossings at the southern border, with illegal immigration in recent months ticking back up to Obama-era levels. Department of Homeland Security, DHS, Secretary Kirstjen Nielsen has even admitted that human smugglers and future illegal aliens follow the immigration debate in Washington, D.C., to understand when their best chance is to cross into the country illegally. Trump's previous offer to Republicans and Democrats on DACA gave amnesty to 1.8 million illegal aliens, six times the population of Obama's DACA program, and as Breitbart News reported, had the potential to become uncontrollable and unenforceable, opening the amnesty to millions more illegal aliens. At the time, Kansas Secretary of State Chris Kovach called the White House amnesty plan an extremely bad idea. The statements by Trump could be a turning point for the White House on immigration. The attempt to negotiate a DACA amnesty plan to please Democrats while also reducing overall immigration levels to the U. S ultimately left the White House with nothing. In the recent spending battle, House Speaker Paul Ryan's omnibus did not include a single provision from Trump's 70-point list of pro-American immigration reforms. Despite backlash from conservatives and organizations representing American workers in the immigration debate, Trump signed the spending